do you want more free time in your day to invest in productive habits? Every entrepreneur knows that the most valuable currency of all is not actually money, rather time. How we spend our time dictates the person we become. Productivity is just about investing time into the right things that will lead us to the goals that we desire. I think we all want success, so think about it. What would an ideal day that leads to your version of success look like? I bet you'd be spending less time on YouTube and social media and video games and more time spent on a productive skill, a business, your career, practices that give you real benefits like meditation and exercise. Although I believe that time enjoyed is not time wasted, wouldn't you agree that time invested is best of all? Especially if you can learn to enjoy the productive tasks. In this modern day and age, we are distracted. We spend so much time away from our purpose and our goals, just scrolling on Instagram because it's easy and comfortable. That's a distraction we know we should aim to reduce. Enter the dopamine detox. This lifestyle will genuinely skyrocket your productivity. A dopamine detox is like the kryptonite to our modern day distractions. In this practice, you drastically reduce instant gratification. Those are the easy, comfortable habits that we just mentioned. And then you use the saved time and energy you have to drastically increase the delayed gratification activities. Delayed gratification comes from activities that give us some kind of reward for the long term but it feels a bit hard and uncomfortable right now. Like exercise, working on your business, working on your career. It, it might not be so fun and it might even be uncomfortable today, but the rewards of it are massive a month down the line. In very simple terms, the one hour you were going to spend on Instagram, you spend weightlifting. The evening you were going to spend flicking through Netflix, you spend learning a new online skill. My name is Hamza. I've been on a long-term dopamine detox for over three months now. In the last three months, my productivity has skyrocketed. I've lost 10 pounds of fat, packed on a bit more muscle. I've learned some cool skills like a gymnast rings muscle up. My business and my online projects are growing at such a fantastic rate, which I know is entirely due to me completely reducing distractions away from my life. We live in a very competitive world. Just having an extra hour to work on your business every day could genuinely mean the difference between success and failure. In this class, you'll learn everything there is to know about doing a dopamine detox. If you bring this practice into your life, I promise you, you will see your productivity skyrocket like never before. And with that, your success. Let's get started on the next lecture based on attention, the currency of the 20th century. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Have you ever wondered why all social media platforms are completely free to use and yet they're worth billions? What do they sell to be worth so much? They sell you. You are the product. You are what they are selling. Your data, your viewing habits, what you are likely to buy, what you're paying attention to. Attention is a currency. It is the currency of the 20th century. You might not think your attention and data is worth much, but it really is. Haven't you ever been scared by seeing an ad on Instagram about a product that you were just talking about in real life? The platform knows who you are. They know what your interests are. So they sell ad space to businesses to target you for online shopping. And it works. All of these platforms operate a business model that profits from your attention. They have software developers split testing and optimizing the platform to ensure that you stay on it, mindlessly scrolling for as long as possible. Because the longer you are on the platform, the more ads you will see, and therefore the more money they make. So if these businesses are profiting billions from our attention, surely our attention is valuable, and therefore we should reserve it for ourselves. What you pay attention to is what defines you as a person. If you pay attention to your health and fitness, you will become a fit person. If you pay attention to learning and education, you will become an intelligent person. So what kind of person will you become if you pay attention to social media? A dopamine detox essentially conserves your attention for the activities that you actually want to put it into. This refocus of attention is a skill. It's something we have to learn, practice and develop. All around us is things that crave our attention, but being able to reserve your attention to the things that matter to you is difficult, 
but it is extremely rewarding. When you're on a dopamine detox, you withdraw attention away from instant gratification activities like video games and Netflix and social media, and instead put that same attention onto delayed gratification activities. You'll learn how to carry out a dopamine detox in the later parts of this class, but for now, just think about how valuable that would be to you. How much time are we spending on these things that aren't really giving us much fulfillment? Imagine putting that into your personal growth instead. Currency, like money, time, attention, should be either spent on things that give us a lot of enjoyment or invested into our growth. Now, if you're really enjoying something like playing video games, then that's completely fine. Time enjoyed is not time wasted. The problem comes when you aren't really even enjoying the things that you spend your time on. It seems like we pointlessly scroll on social media or watch Netflix and we still feel somewhat bored. Sometimes there's a nugget of fun, something exciting, but for the majority of time that we put into these things, it doesn't really pay off. The dopamine detox lifestyle is all about finding out these things that aren't really that fun so that we can replace them with things that actually better our lives and our future. So it's a win-win. I hope this lecture on attention being the most valuable currency was interesting to you. I was personally fascinated when I was doing the research for this lecture. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to be talking about the true cost. What is the major downsides to our misplaced attention? That's very, very important. So go ahead and go watch the next lecture right now. If you watch this lecture right to the end, you'll have the skills and knowledge to carry out your own dopamine detox to skyrocket your productivity. Now, there's two different kinds of dopamine detox. There's a 24-hour dopamine detox, almost like a challenge, and a long-term dopamine detox, which you aim to stick to for months or even longer. Let's start with the 24-hour challenge. Now, for this, you're going to choose a day that you would be fine somewhat fine not doing instant gratification activities. So this means no Netflix, no video games, no scrolling on your phone. The only time you can use your computer and phone is for important work or emergencies. That might seem very hard, but don't worry, you'll have lots of other things to do and I am sure you'll feel grateful for this experience. Let's say this Sunday, from the moment of waking up, you completely focus on delayed gratification activities. As we mentioned, these are the somewhat hard and uncomfortable habits and activities that lead to long-term results. I'll give you a few examples. So you wake up on Sunday and straight away you meditate for five minutes. You then go and exercise to wake yourself up fully and then you have a healthy, nutritious breakfast. <laughs> That means no cereal. I would go with eggs and whole meal toast. Spend the rest of the day learning, reading, working on a skill, on your business, a new craft. Learn a new song on your instruments. Learn to cook a new nutritious meal. Do cold calls and try to sell something. Learn to code. Journal your thoughts. Write and plan performance-based goals. Do the chores you've been putting off, like replacing the bed sheets and cleaning your room. Exercise again, go for a walk, talk to strangers, meditate again, you catch my drift. Do the somewhat uncomfortable work that will make your life better tomorrow. What's the rules of a 24 hour detox? What should you avoid? They are up on screen right now. Phone and computer use should be avoided apart from important work and stimulating food pretty much just means chunk food. It means food with added sugars. So on this day, you're going to focus on nutritious, healthy, natural foods. So this 24 hours is actually quite difficult. It's somewhat of a challenge. That's why it's just one day a week, but having this entire very productive day will be very beneficial to you. It will set you up for the week ahead and so it will feel very rewarding if you stick to it consistently. You'll be getting a lot of work done all on one day and then you'll have more free time and success for the rest of the week. The long-term dopamine detox, on the other hand, is way more of a sustainable lifestyle change. This is something you could imagine staying on for months, years, your entire life. The difference is that you reduce instant gratification activities, but you don't completely cut them out for the long-term detox. This is where we can use the 80-20 principle to determine which instant gratification activities we keep. The 80-20 principle, everyone knows it by now, and the way that you use it for your 
dopamine detox, your long-term detox, is simply by thinking, what are the few instant gratification activities that give me the most fun? What are the fun things that give you the most bang for your buck? We keep our most favorite instant gratification activities and drastically reduce slash cut out the other ones. So take a second and think right now, which instant gratification activity do you enjoy the most? Which fun thing do you smile and laugh through? And now figure out the instant gratification activity that you'd probably be better off cutting out. This will be something that you somewhat feel bored doing, even though it's supposed to be a fun activity. So if you find yourself just flickering through Netflix and saying, oh, there's nothing good to watch, it's probably that. You would probably be happier if you otherwise invested that same time into a delayed gratification activity instead. Maybe you have lots of fun playing video games. Keep them in your day and enjoy them. The long-term dopamine detox is all about creating a sustainable, reasonable day that you could imagine for the rest of your life. So make sure you keep some things that you really enjoy and then also add in more valuable delayed gratification activities with the time saved from the other instant gratification activities that we reduced. I personally cut out Netflix, video games, and just pointless scrolling on my phone on Instagram and Reddit. I was finding myself still somewhat bored when I was doing these things. So I cut all of them out and I now spend that same time training with the gymnastic rings. I exercise more, I meditate more, I read so much more and I learn more. I've been teaching self-improvement advice for young men on my YouTube channel. And I still keep some of the fun stuff like watching YouTube videos and hanging out with my friends. You can see that this long-term dopamine detox prioritizes adherence. It's all about creating a day that you feel that you could actually sustain forever. So it shouldn't feel like a challenge. It's more like a day which just has a bit more work, but every single day. In the class project coming soon, I'll have you carry out your own 24 hour dopamine detox. So this will feel like somewhat of a challenge. It will be an interesting experience. And if you commit to doing this, you'll then get to know if the 24 hour challenge version of the dopamine detox is more up your street, or if you're like me, you might prefer to do the long term detox instead. Learning about the benefits of a practice this is very beneficial because it increases your motivation and therefore you're more likely to stick to that. In the next lecture, you'll learn about the key benefits of doing a dopamine detox, which should get you excited to start this new distraction-free, high productivity lifestyle. Watch the next lecture right now. Lack of success, unproductivity, inability to hold focus. In this lecture, you will learn about what our misplaced attention is really costing us. It's said that it takes around 10,000 hours to master a skill. Now that's a very safe number. Even just 5,000 hours of learning, implementing, testing and failing would result in major success of any given skill. Think about how many hours you've spent on instant gratification that you now have nothing to show for. I personally have over 3,000 hours on just one online game. I think a common trait amongst people who spent a lot of time playing video games is wondering what life would have been like if you put that time into something else, something more productive. Not only are we losing valuable time and youth, these instant gratification activities have somewhat hidden long-term detriments. Time spent on social media is directly linked to negative mental health. Information overload from too much scrolling on your phone is causing mind wandering, where your thoughts and your focus drift away from the task at hand. It seems to be the case that the more attention we commit to instant gratification, the worse our lives get. But luckily for us, the opposite is true as well. The less attention we commit to instant gratification activities and the more we invest into delayed gratification activities, the better our life gets. The true cost of our misplaced attention is distraction. All of these things that a dopamine detox lifestyle reduces distract us from our goals in life. We lose mental clarity, time, experience some kind of brain fog that keeps us fatigued and before you know it, it's been months and you haven't achieved anything that you set out to. It's a lose-lose situation. Our normal behavior of indulging in instant gratification, like watching Netflix, scrolling on social media, is not amazingly fun and you don't really get any long-term benefits. If you could go back in time and speak to your younger self, you'd probably tell them to work a little bit harder, 
Focus on the bigger picture, the long term. Stop worrying about the little things. All of these things would make present you's life better. So what is your future self thinking about you today? We, of course, want our future selves to be as happy and as fulfilled as possible. But that comes from our actions today. Will our future selves be looking back and feel gratitude, feel grateful for our actions today? Or will they come back in time and tell you to work harder, think about the bigger picture, stop worrying about the little things? The choices that we make today are far bigger than just the choices we make today. Each decision that we make compounds into a regular behavior for that same decision. So going to the gym today is greater than just one gym workout because by going today, you have slightly solidified this new exercise mentality. But the opposite is true choosing to lie down and just scroll on your phone for two hours today further solidifies that kind of behavior for you into the future. So we really have to think about the bigger picture. The true cost of our misplaced attention is scary, but there is a remedy, the dopamine detox. Join me now in the next lecture where you'll learn exactly how to carry out your own dopamine detox. And I'm going to teach you my exact method for how I've carried out a long-term dopamine detox for around four months now. And I've seen some fantastic results on this. Watch the next lecture right now. More free time, better sleep, fulfillment, reduced mind wandering and improved mood. Watch this lecture right to the end to get yourself motivated for the benefits of this dopamine detox lifestyle. Firstly, having more free time due to reducing instant gratification activities will simply mean that you have more time to invest into your work, your craft. This is going to lead to greater success in your career or business, which is massive. You could end up making more money, getting a promotion faster, getting clients or more sales in your business due to living this distraction-free lifestyle. As mentioned earlier, this is a very competitive time that we're living in. Just having one extra hour a day to put into your work would put you ahead of your competition. The extra free time you have also means that you won't feel as rushed, which I can tell you is an amazing feeling. When you're not spending three hours a day on Netflix or video games, you find that you just become more patient and you start having more relaxing days. You will experience massive benefits to your sleep. Since you aren't using screens anywhere near as much, you'll find yourself falling asleep quicker. After some time of carrying out a long-term dopamine detox, you'll even find that you start going to sleep and waking up at the same time without an alarm clock. Yes, without an alarm, every single day. By using the 80-20 principle to figure out which instant gratification activity gives you the most bang for your buck, you'll still be having fun every day. You'll still have something to look forward to. You'll just be doubling down on the things that matter to you, so your days will feel a lot more fulfilling. You'll likely be using social media a lot less on your dopamine detox, and that means you will experience less mind wandering. So pretty much, you'll be able to focus better. Your concentration will go up and therefore you'll find it easier to get into a state of flow to do deep work. One thing that I personally noticed was my mood. Being on a long-term dopamine detox, I feel fantastic knowing that I'm getting closer and closer to my goals. This has made me feel very determined and I feel proud of myself. It's amazing to be able to look back and feel grateful for the efforts that I've put in over the last few months. You will actually experience these benefits rather quickly. Think for a second, which one are you most excited for? For me, it was the free time. I was so excited to save some of the hours of the day to invest into things that I kept on saying I didn't have time for. Now that you're excited for a dopamine detox, please join me in the next lecture where you're going to carry out your own 24 hour dopamine detox. It's going to be a very interesting experience, something that I think you'll remember for a while. Click on the next lecture right now. Welcome to the class project in which you're going to be carrying out your own 24 hour dopamine detox. This is a big step, but the effort you invest here will be rewarded. You'll solidify this distraction free lifestyle and you'll get to experience all of the productivity benefits that we mentioned in the previous lecture. Choose an upcoming day to carry out this dopamine detox. It should be a day that you don't really have much planned at all so that you have lots and lots of free time. 
you'll only be using your phone or computer for emergencies or important work. So if there's any kind of precautions you have to take, like letting people know, make sure you do it beforehand. In a previous lecture, you learned about the rules of a 24 hour dopamine detox. So I'll have it up on screen right now as a reminder. This day is all about putting more time into delayed gratification activities. I'll give you an example. I would probably spend this day working, developing a new skill that I wanted. I'd exercise a lot, maybe twice. I would meditate, I would read, I would journal, I would probably catch up on some sleep. <laughs> so focus on adding the work that you feel will give you the best results and try to stay away from instant gratification. This is supposed to feel a little hard because it's so different from our normal lives, but that is where the benefit comes from. Choose the day and set it in stone. Remember the day you're going to be carrying out this dopamine detox and make sure you feel excited for it. It's going to be a very interesting experience. Rewatch this class project lecture the night before your 24 hour dopamine detox is set to start so that you can refresh your memory on what to do. Here's a few last minute tips before you start your dopamine detox. Keep yourself busy with delayed gratification activities and when you can't think of anything else to do, just sit around and do nothing but think. Seriously, just sit and think with nothing in front of you, no screens or any kind of distractions. Let your mind think. It's such a pleasant experience allowing your mind to just think without distraction. Think about what you want to accomplish in life and after some time, you'll find that your mind will just think of something to do that will get you to that goal then do it. Detach your actions from the need of motivation. So in other words, just do the hard work even if you don't feel like it. Your future self will thank you. Remind yourself to have fun in the ways that I presented to you in the bonus video. Think of some fun things you can do for a couple of hours that doesn't revolve around the internet-based activities that we usually do. It's only for one day, so just bear through it and try your best to get the most out of this experience. You're taking a massive step here to improve your productivity. You should feel proud of yourself. There really isn't many people who have reached this stage. Pat yourself on the back and let's begin your dopamine detox. Don't watch the next lecture until you have done your 24 hour detox. Go ahead and turn off your computer or phone and commit to this practice right now. See you on the other side. Only watch this lecture if you have just completed the class project 24 hour dopamine detox. If you haven't done that yet, go back right now and give it a try. How was your 24 hour dopamine detox? Scroll down and click on create a project. You only have to write about your experience, so it'll just take a minute. Tell me the story of your dopamine detox. How did it go? What did you do? Tell me what did you accomplish in the day? Did you finally get something done that you've been putting off for a while? Include some honesty in the submission. Did you break any of the rules at all? Did you do any instant gratification activities even for a second? Having the confidence to admit this is very important for your own long-term improvement. So go ahead and click on the create project button below. Write about your experience and I will personally come there and give you some feedback. Also, could you please help me out by leaving me an honest review for this class? It will help me direct my attentions to my weak points as I'm always looking to improve. So if you would give this class a review right now, I would be grateful. I really hope you had an interesting experience carrying out your dopamine detox for this class project. As I mentioned earlier, you should feel proud of yourself even if it didn't go exactly as planned. I'm proud of you. <laughs> this is a skill and the only way you can level up a skill is if you keep getting experience over time. So be proud of yourself. That wasn't easy. Everything around us craves our attention and now you realize just how hard it is to conserve your attention to your own purpose. In the next lecture, we'll discuss how to progress onwards from here. You'll learn how to make this lifestyle feel easier for you and how to experience greater benefits. Go watch the next lecture right now. So now you have experience of a 24 hour dopamine detox. There's two paths that you can take from here. You could decide to carry on doing a 24 hour dopamine detox one day a week or you could choose to do a long-term, more sustainable dopamine detox that you plan to stick to for months, years, or your entire life. Remember that the 24-hour dopamine detox is meant to be much stricter. You're pretty much cutting out all instant gratification activities. The long-term dopamine detox is way more lenient, 
more sustainable. You allow yourself to enjoy the most fun instant gratification activities. Remember the 80-20 principle? The ones that give you the most bang for your buck. Other than that, you drastically reduce the instant gratification activities and drastically increase the delayed gratification. So which one seems more appealing to you? Personally, I chose the long-term dopamine detox. I wanted something that was sustainable and I wanted a consistent lifestyle choice. I wanted to just change up my life and have a plan that I could imagine sticking to for the rest of my life. I didn't just want to go all out in one day, but to be honest, that is what a lot of people seem to prefer. Think about which one you would get the most benefit from and also which one you feel like you could adhere to most. You've heard it so much in your life, but consistency really is key. So it's about which one you could remain consistent with because that is how you would get the long-term benefits that we previously discussed. We're almost done with the class. So in the next lecture, you will learn about two mistakes that I made, which you will probably make as well, unless you learn from me. So go ahead and go watch the next lecture right now. In this lecture, we'll be going over two mistakes that I made when I was in your position. The first mistake that I made was that I completely cut out all of the easy dopamines, the easy habits like Netflix and video games, but I didn't add anything else in. This left me with just the same schedule, but without the fun. So I was just sitting around bored. You have to make sure you're doing a twofold action here. Reduce instant gratification, increase delayed gratification. Take out some of the easy habits and add in work that is rewarding. You've got extra time in the day. So now spend some time just thinking about the activities and work that you feel like you would get benefits from. The second mistake was being too restrictive at first. Now this applies for the long-term detox. The 24-hour detox should be quite restrictive and quite challenging. For the long-term dopamine detox that you stick to literally every day, you've got to go easy on yourself because you've got to create the habit that you can actually stick to it for every day. If you make it too restrictive, you're bound to quit. You've got to make it easy enough that you can imagine sticking to it for a very long time because that is how we get consistent results. And because I learned from my own mistake, I eased up on this rule, I made it less restrictive, and now I have been on a dopamine detox for four months. Avoid these pitfalls and you'll find your dopamine detox lifestyle much easier and more enjoyable. We're done. Please watch the next lecture right now. I have some important things that I wanna to talk to you about. You've made it this far. Well done. If you attempted your own 24 hour dopamine detox for the class project, you should feel so proud of yourself. If you haven't done the class project, please just consider going back and just giving it a try. I know it's hard to do, but if you just try it, you will look back and feel grateful. Attention is extremely important in this day and age. You've just learned how to live a distraction-free lifestyle through a dopamine detox, and this will skyrocket your productivity. I hope you're excited to go onwards from here, slowly making reasonable changes to your life to fit into this dopamine detox lifestyle. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to teach this life-changing skill to others around the world. I really hope that you found value in this class and extreme value in this practice of a dopamine detox. If you want to learn more about self-improvement and productivity, be sure to scroll down to the YouTube link and you can find my YouTube channel there. This isn't a YouTube channel, so I can't tell you to smash that like button, like, comment, and subscribe. But again, I would really like you to leave a review for this class right now. And with that, I wish you all the best. If you're on a dopamine detox or reducing instant gratification activities, you may believe that you're not allowed to have fun. That is completely incorrect. We want to replace the modern habits like watching Netflix or playing video games with more natural activities that are actually beneficial for us while still being fun and enjoyable. So in this video, I'm going to give you three things that you can do for fun on a dopamine detox. Number one, athletic performance. Now I know that I advocate exercise a lot, but this isn't about exercise. This is more about athletic achievements and progress. There's not many day-to-day -day things that will make you smile more than finally achieving a muscle up or hitting a personal best weight with the squats. I put this at number one because it's 100% internal. It's only us and our body, our mind and muscle. 
Only with your hard, consistent work will you see athletic performance increase. And that form of growth, progress, generates happiness and feels so fun. I've been training with the gym rings and I've been having fun literally every single workout. There's so many different movements to try and work up to. I can't recommend this style of training enough. Recently, I've been working on the muscle up and I've been getting closer and closer. Fun idea number two, learning. Yes, I've become one of those people who say that learning is fun. Cringe. <laughs> But it's true, I always found learning and education pointless and boring until I went on this dopamine detox. When I reduced the instant gratification activities like Netflix and video games, learning just felt way, way more interesting and fun. You might feel the same way. Hopefully you do. And it's great that the internet equalizes this education. We can all access the same contents online and most of it is for free. So I've been taking online courses on a website called Coursera. I fully went through a course called The Science of Wellbeing and it was incredibly interesting. It taught me that the normal goals in life like good grades, good job, money, marriage, don't actually result in a long-term increase in happiness or well-being. And so in this course, I learned the real things that result in a long-term increase of happiness or well-being. And it wasn't what I expected. There was things I was doing already, like exercise, and then things that I started implementing after watching this course. That was meditation, increasing mindfulness, and gratitude. I can guarantee the results. I am significantly happier after taking this course and implementing those techniques. I also signed up to Skillshare, which is like Netflix for learning. I kept on seeing all of the sponsors for Skillshare on YouTube for so long, but I never bothered with it. And recently I just made an account and it's actually pretty good. I've learned some important things from it already. I've been taking a course from a guy named Ali Abdul, who is a doctor in the NHS in the UK and also a full-time YouTuber. And his course is on productivity. These aren't exactly qualified teachers or lecturers, but I think that's a good thing. We have so much to learn from one another. For example, I'm learning from this guy who works a full-time job with 50 hours a week. He's a successful YouTuber and he also has like three profitable businesses. It's a privilege to learn from someone like that. And honestly, all of this online learning has actually been fun. I've been setting aside some time, sitting there at my desk with a cup of tea and fully trying to learn as best as I can from these courses. And then I go out and I implement the techniques that they say. Fun idea number three, adventure. It's weird how adventure was so important to us as children and then we just lost that desire. So through this dopamine detox, I've brought it back. I've been taking different routes around my city, going really fast on my bike, just stopping to witness and absorb the area that I'm in. I've been pretending like I'm in a map of a Grand Theft Auto game where the places you haven't been to yet are blacked out up until you discover them. So I've been trying to open up as many areas as possible and I found some beautiful spots. Take a look at these clips whilst I play my Klimba for you. So that was three things you can do for fun on a dopamine detox. Focusing on athletic performance, learning and adventure. These things have brought great enjoyment to my life. I hope that they do the same for you.